she's expressed an interest in the macabre in the past, announcing last week she'd like to launch a range of coffins. And Katie Price has now declared she has psychic abilities and attempted to demonstrate this by trying to raise the dead. Taking to what was presumably her bathroom, Katie, 39, armed herself with a candle and a toilet roll and encouraged any spirits from other planes to come forward and talk to her. I really can and do connect with spirits, Katie declared in a video on Twitter on Tuesday night. If there's any spirit here, make the flame faster, faster and higher, she said from off-screen, talking to the candle that was placed rather perilously next to the toilet roll. If there's any spirits in the rooms with me make it faster, higher and faster. If there's any spirits in the room with me. The mother of five became ecstatic as the light began to flicker. Yes, she uttered, clearly thrilled to seemingly be in touch with the dead. Faster, make it go faster, the flame in front of me go on, faster and higher, she urged the unseen presence joining her in the bathroom. The candle continued to bob, and after a while she urged it to slow down, now slow down. Fans were left confused by the video, with a mixture of baffled tweets written in response. OK Han, came another doubtful tweet. A third wrote, I'm no candle genius. But all candles do this. A full-blown debate broke out about the toilet roll that featured in the clip. Why isn't anyone acknowledging the toilet roll, someone asked, with another replying, it's dangerous I know, replied the user. That's why I was wondering who would be so idiotic as to put it next to an open flame this was met with another reply, well there are children in that house these spirits, did you drink them, asked someone else. Another warned that Katie should not be messing with the occult, don't, they are evil spirits masquerading as good entities. When you're dead you're dead, evil spirits fake being our loved ones who have died deep for blowing on that, someone else typed, skeptically. Others were a little more enthusiastic, I'd love to see you as a guest on Most Haunted. Make it happen this bathroom encounter comes as Katie continues to go through trying times with her marriage to third husband Kieran Haler under strain after it came out that he had cheated with their nanny. It seems that in these troubled times, Katie could be turning to guidance from another realm. In this vein, she has also announced she wants to produce and sell coffins which are embellished with pink jewels, according to The Sun. Detailing the project, a source told the publication, Katie knows how to make money, and these crystallized coffins may be her best idea yet. Anybody that has a good sense of humor or an obsession with pink crystals will love them. Katie's jewel-adorned coffins will feature sculptures of gravity-defying cleavage on the lid, complete with crystals for nipples for a hint of sparkle.
The slogan Ashes to Ashes, Bust to Bust, will be emblazoned across the side of the starry casket. Beautiful pin-up Katie is certain the cookie designs will be a success as they will give people an extra special send-off. The glamour model explained to the publication, I'm bringing out coffins, crystallized coffins, I'm bringing out Katie Price coffins. Would you want to put someone in a wicker basket? or in a crystallized one it comes as the stars reportedly letting her estranged husband stay in the house after his recent affair was exposed. She looks to be taking her mind off domestic issues as she will reportedly be filming scenes for her reality show My Crazy Life in Miami. The location of the shoot will be sure to upset Kieran Haler, 30, after Katie was forced to apologize over her flirty texts to DJ Tom Zanetti when she was last out there earlier this year. ATV Insider told The Sun, Katie had a great time filming in America when she was there this summer. She is flying back next month and hopes to have more adventures, all of which will be aired on the new series of her show. In August, scenes from her reality show saw her apologizing to husband of four years Kieran after she told DJ Tom Zanetti she loved him and wanted to marry him in a series of flirty texts as they filmed a video for his new single together. Kieran blasted Katie in a heated row, claiming she didn't give a fk about what I thought. And finally admitting her shortcomings, Katie conceded, I'm really sorry I know I've put you through it, and my judgment was wrong. You've come out of this a bigger man I have I let you get on with it and do it and it's backfired. As they built bridges over the long-running sensitive topic, he added, it's a great feeling when she walks through the door and says sorry.